You're at the airport and you get the sudden urge to punch someone in the back of the head. Why? Because you're on that awesome people mover conveyor belt thing that lets you walk like frickin' the flash, but someone on there standing still, not walking. <whistles> don't you understand this is your chance to have superpowers? Well now, you don't need to go to the airport or be around other people for that. You can wear these. The Shift Moonwalkers, basically shoes that let you walk really fast. Sounds stupid or amazing. I'm guessing it's gonna be a bit of both. First of all, these are heavy. They're over four pounds each. They basically just look like if Linus was a transformer. <laughs> like this is his final form. We got a bunch of wheels here in weird shapes and I'm supposed to be able to put these on and just walk like normal and they'll speed me up, up to seven miles per hour, which is about 11.265 kilometers an hour. So if you wanna go slower, you walk sl more slowly. If you wanna go faster, you walk more fastly. It's just as easy as that. Apparently you can even go up and down stairs if you do a little trick with the gesture control. So we're gonna try it out and hopefully I don't die. Okay, first things first, open them up. Oh my God, is that just glue? These are very engineering sample -y. You can see there's a lot of wear marks on them already. I just wanna get it on. I'm gonna assess the quality of the Velcro. That's Velcro and there's a lot of it. It goes, it actually spans the whole, the whole thing. So it's, that's, that's pretty good. It really looks like this will fit. I want to say up to like very large sizes, but maybe not too small. Ugh, I'm like a 10. That's pretty much the exact envelope of my, of my foot. Oh my gosh. These are chalky. Okay, I feel pretty secure in that. And now that my foot's on the ground, I actually can't roll it back and forth. It doesn't, it doesn't want, are you down there? Yeah. It doesn't really want to. I'm like forcing the servos if I do that because they're turned off. I actually need to turn them on. On the back, you can see there's a power button and behind this weatherproof little door, a USB-C charging port. And you, you've got this on the back of both shoes. Shoes? What are they? I'm wearing shoes. I'm definitely not wearing two pairs of shoes. Oh, you can see that it articulates here. So that's gonna help you walk normally. Oh, check that out. So you don't actually have to adjust the Velcro every time. There's also this quick release uh, thing kind of like when you're wearing skis. There's also a magnet involved in here. Kind of confusing. So you can just pull that like that. But can you? Oh, and it's supposed to just click right back in. That is pretty smart. I feel like this is a bad way to put these on because my foot is probably shifted in a weird way here. The first thing I'm noticing, which I love, is that these have made me at least an inch taller. Uh, now, I don't know if I was supposed to turn them on before or now, but it's kind of awkward. Oh, hold on, look at that. I can lift this, this heel. So it's actually not that awkward to kind of take a knee. Click. Okay. There's actually haptic feedback happening right now. It's pulsing for some reason. I'm just gonna walk towards these stairs. I don't think these are functioning right now. <laughs> They're not rolling. No, it still appears to be locked. So what's that? That other gesture is something like that. Oh, now it's green. Oh, they're going. Okay. Oh, this is so awkward. It's on, it's kind of on and off. Getting the hang of this now? <laughs> Do I look as stupid as they feel? <laughs> it looks pretty, yeah, it looks pretty, pretty silly. But uh, you yeah. can't keep up. I'm flying. Oh, I, yeah, I feel like they're actually going now. The sensation of speed isn't there, which is a shame because I like the sensation of speed I got on one of those people movers. Oh, they're screaming. They are screaming now. Whoa, these things are straight up moving me. There's definitely a lag effect, like this is all me. And then they ramp up. You, you're pretty mobile still. What if I actually jog? I don't think they're, they're meant for this. This is pretty hard. Uh, you gotta go slow to go fast. Get tired of walking? Sit in a chair. Thanks Secret Lab for sponsoring today's video. Secret Lab chairs are engineered to keep you incredibly comfortable for long hours at work and play. Their Titan Evo 2022 chair keeps you feeling comfortable for longer. Four-way lumbar support, ultra comfortable different seat materials, and more. All chairs come with up to a five-year extended warranty and a 49-day return policy. Head to the link in the description and check out Secret Lab today. All right, so I'm gonna lift my heel to put these into locked wheel stair mode and Try not to die. So did that do it? I sure hope so. Oh yeah. You are not very agile with these on. And they're loud. What's up losers? Oh, you fly. 
<laughs> they take a bit to get going. I don't think I can even really get going in this office yeah. setting. It's too, it's too small. You need like a, a real runway. Dude, this is the quietest they get. Let these babies fly. Oh my God. <laughs> they stop in three and a half feet, apparently, <laughs> on a dry surface. Let's see. My toe is under the counter right now. This is my demise right here. This is how it ends. Oh God, they're not even on stair mode. Who's had sex before? <laughs> when they kick into their highest gear, they're fully carrying you. And you can actually start walking more lackadaisically while just ripping. You work at a mall <laughs> or you're at CES, like a giant trade show where you're just gonna have to be running back and forth all day and you're gonna get 20,000 steps in. These would've been great actually. Now watch this downhill. They support up to 10 degrees of slope. which doesn't sound like very much, but I felt really supportive because it's like a regenerative braking on an electric car. Here comes the slope. No problem, very smooth. Yeah, I got a quick turn here. Just zip over this way. It's weird, they're like between shoes and rollerblades. I'm gonna jump off this. Woo! <laughs> they did not like that. The light's still green, but they're not rolling. Something is wrong. Oh, they're blinking red. Oh, oh they're not green. Are they dying? These are quite fast. I have so many thoughts. Number one, will you wear these to do like a half hour, hour walk to work? How much do you value your time? Instead of walking your dog for an hour, you walk your dog for 45 minutes. Dog goes farther. Here's what you're not gonna do though. You're not gonna walk to the office and continue wearing them in the office at all. Like they're too clunky and heavy, aside from looking stupid. <laughs> you look stupid. You want your colleagues to respect you. Uh, and they're also just very loud on the floor. They're louder than the most obnoxious high heel of shoes, for example. You would probably annoy other people in the subway, at, in the tube, um, on the stairs. You're just like too slow. Not as annoying as someone carrying a bicycle, but actually probably even more annoying because you just look like an ass hat. But I will say that you can get around. I'm sweating. My feet are sweating. They're very heavy to pick up your gait, like I feel like your feet would get stronger just to pick these things up every step. And I think that's part of the reason I ended up being almost like a roller skate, because they start to carry you. You get momentum and they're actually driving you forward. It gave me a tendency as someone who used to rollerblade as a kid, I ski now, I've played hockey, a lot of skate and skate-like activities. My tendency was to start skating. I don't know if other people who can't skate or don't skate would have that tendency. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it's just weird because your gait changes over the course of the usage. As you speed up, you are no longer walking naturally, you're starting to skate a bit. You feel that the most when you're doing turns, because you do get a, a thing where you can't just stop at a dime and just go what and turn around right away, like you can if you're walking, because you are moving so much faster. And, and when you're turning like that, you tend to turn like you're on skates. They're pretty loud. They're definitely too loud to use indoors or in an office. They have like this loud whistling noise. This is a product that I wish came with an instruction manual. Uh, because I don't know what the different lights mean. You know what, some audio feedback would be nice. When I'm turning them on and stuff, I can't necessarily see the lights. It'd be nice if it just said powered on, or when I switch modes, if it said stair mode or something, that would be helpful. The range is seven miles or again, like 11K. That doesn't seem like that much range, honestly. I would probably only get these if my walk to work is 5K or more. I don't know, I feel like I want a little more range, but then again, that means bigger batteries and that means heavier. So there's definitely some kind of calculus they have to do there to find the like sweet spot. Do I want these to be a thing? In a perfect world, maybe not, but in the world we live in, I think I prefer a city dominated by these people than maybe electric unicycles. They're way more low profile than that and they fit into existing infrastructure a little bit better than that. Although if I was on a sidewalk with these, I don't think I would be comfortable. 
They, they do ramp down in speed quickly enough that when you inevitably walk up to somebody who's going slowly, I don't think you're in risk of running them over, but you would be annoying everybody and scaring people when they hear you coming. That would push me into like the bike lane or the curb where I'm way too slow for everything that's in that lane. So there's probably an ideal commute for these that isn't most people's commute. And the, another thing that's cool about them is that you can, in theory, switch modes in terms of walking to escalator to subway to walking again to getting into an uber honestly yeah they're fourteen hundred dollars that is crazy really crazy i could see like for the experiment that these things are maybe you like risk it for two hundred dollars three hundred dollars but fourteen hundred dollars like you're really betting the farm on these things i don't know they accept up to 65 watts of power by a usb type c and they are meant to last an hour and a half so I think there's a perfect customer for these. I think it's very few people in the world. But if these get better, I mean, I could see them getting normalized for certain occupations. Like if you're gonna make more money because you have these, then get them. Maybe if, if I'm an airline, I'm an airport, I want my employees at the airport to work more efficiently, and instead of just lollygagging down the tarmac, I give them these, because not everyone gets to ride in those cute little trucks. Maybe I do that. And maybe they proliferate in industry first and then to consumers later. I don't know. They're very cool and I respect the company for going for it and trying to bestow upon the world this innovation. I think the social factor is the biggest impedance to them. They're just, they're kind of weird. They're very eyebrow raising. But who knows what happens in 10 years. In 10 years, Linus's kids could be hosting this show. Who knows? So subscribe for that and thanks for watching Short Circuit. If you like this video, maybe watch our coverage of some e-bikes or other things that are more normal.